Thank you, President. There are fundamental flaws in how the EU is currently proceeding in justice and home affairs, notably the lack of fully transparent and democratic lawmaking in the absence of the Lisbon Treaty. I also regret that Mr Jouet showed his indifference to our views by leaving, whether he apologised or not. And secondly, the lack of balance and respect for fundamental rights. Both are unfortunately fully on display here in the two measures being discussed. The criminalising of public provocation to commit terrorism, a vague term, risks casting a chilling effect on free speech when the criminal offence that we already have of incitement is perfectly adequate. The other measure gives only weak protection of personal data exchanged ostensibly for law enforcement purposes but with massive loopholes. I can tell you that in the UK, the Data Retention Directive, that landmark achievement three years ago of the UK Presidency, is being used to give hundreds of non-law enforcement agencies access to personal contact details. Local councils use it to check up if parents have lied about living in the catchment area of a popular school. Naughty, but not a major crime. It's disgraceful the way that interior ministers have left a space for europhobes like the UK Independence Party and British Conservatives to castigate the whole EU effort on cross-border crime. We know that a large majority of the European public, including in the UK, supports EU action to catch criminals and terrorists, such as through the European Arrest Warrant. But UKIP and the Tories, who claim to put a high priority on law and order, uh, if the criminal escapes across the channel, they give them a cheery wave goodbye. But we shouldn't allow them to get away with their propaganda, because interior ministers are doing their very best to undermine public support for police cooperation by their blinkered approach, which gives insufficient attention to civil liberties, whether protection from invasions of privacy or rights of defendants. EU governments have stupidly allowed Mr Batten and his ilk a head of steam over the issue of recognition of judgments in absentia by their failure, led by the UK government, to strengthen defence rights. Talk about an unholy allow allow alliance between the europhobes and a spineless Labour government. But lastly, I want to ask, where are the justice ministers in this whole exercise? They need to get a grip on the interior minister's circus and start to construct a real European area of freedom, security and justice. And we need the Lisbon Treaty to get the drunk transparency and democracy into this project and quick before the European elections.